My name is Katerina Dallacura. I'm a senior lecturer in international relations at the London School of Economics and I'm also the uh, program director for the MSc International Relations in the department. International relations is the study of uh, all issues we place under the label international. Um, this involves a variety, a wide range of uh, areas. For instance, um, it involves studying the uh, foreign policies of states and governments, links between them, um, the very complex relations between societies, what we call transnational links. It involves the study of international organizations, non-governmental non international organizations and institutions at the international level. And last but not least, issues of war, uh, military and uh, strategic uh, balances. Underpinning these issue areas are the broader uh, questions that we address in the study of IR. For example, the role of ethical issues, the role of conceptual issues and how they play out in the practice, in the actual carrying out of relations across the world. Um, the bigger questions of structure, of a military, economic and political kind. Uh, and finally, the role of uh, theories, by which I mean the regular patterns which we can discern in the relations between um, global actors across, across the world. I think it is important to remember that international relations involves the study not just of the world, but of the linkages that bind this world together. So, and I think this is what differentiates the Masters in International Relations from other programs in the school. The uh, Department of International Relations at the LSE is one of the few in the UK and also in the world which has for, for, for many years now, for close to a century, uh, uh, focused on the study of uh, international relations as distinct from politics generally. And I think that's what gives it one of its uh, unique flavours. The core course for the, for the programme um, attempts to combine um, the study of two aspects of international relations. First, the theoretical aspect and secondly, a more historical and contemporary politics aspect. So, the idea is that in the two terms during which the uh, uh, core course is taught, uh, we offer our students a wide um, uh, coverage of, of the subject that they are coming into uh, in the department. Our students can also uh, do uh, two options as, as well as the core course. And there's a long list uh, from which to choose involving uh, uh, the study of regions, the study of particular issues such as uh, peace, conflict, strategy, uh, culture, religion, um, the study of um, more uh, theoretical aspects of international relations and ethical aspects of international relations. So there is a really a very long uh, uh, list from which to choose, as well as being able to opt for a course from outside the department, subject to approval. And finally, of course, there is the dissertation. That's the four, fourth course, uh, which uh, is compulsory for all our MSc students. Mostly, uh, our students come from the related social sciences, as we call them. So we have many uh, master's students who have done international relations before, who have studied political science, possibly sociology, uh, anthropology, um, and a number of others. We do also have many history students, formerly having done history uh, and uh, uh, possibly law. We do look for uh, the well-rounded individuals, so many of our applicants have had experience working in international organizations, um, in government, and and have subsequently come back or have returned to, to, uh, to doing a degree. Again, there's uh, great diversity. Uh, clearly, some of our students 
uh, choose to continue with the PhD program, but uh, and also some of them may do other degrees, but most of them do go into employment. Um, they um, may work in the private sector. Um, for example, many um, go, of course, into the financial world, but others go into risk analysis for a variety of uh, private companies. Some of them do go into government um, and, uh, uh, and also into uh, international organizations and international non-governmental organizations. So there is a mix between the private sector and the public sector and between, um, in, a, in a way we can call it the um, domestic and the international. And um, I have to say that we are uh, very proud of the diversity of employment which our students acquire after leaving here.